Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Dirtfield Raceway's figure eight is open for racing and it's going to get pretty nasty out here. I'm going to go over the lineup, uh, no points to go over. This is our season opener in the spring season. I'm going to go uh, inside to outside, front to back, best as I can. So that starts us with the number 14, Candy Tomorrow for Toast Racing. Just outside of her, uh, for Redline Racing, number 99, Mishi Brasini. And next to him, number 77, Lucido Avon. Now next to Avon, for Leadpaw Motorsports, the number 98, Kibo Monroe. And next to Monroe, the 2X for FK Autosports, Fred Kuhlhoven. Now, back from there, things start kind of getting a little spread out. But uh, you see Bill Podolo there in the number 27, VF Motorsports Machine. Way up to the outside of him in the bright orange number 107, Hemi Lover Sock. Back from there on the 92Y, Lotus Setzer for Toast Racing. The 22, Kaz Freshy, former champion in this division. 6, Fock Rao. Uh, both those drivers for Local Dog Racing and for the Sleepy Bunch, number 18, Zaria Falcon, are always contender. Uh, one definitely to watch out for in this race will be Candy Tomorrow as well, who's starting out there on the pole. So this, uh, this should be another interesting race. Ten seconds to green. Three, two, and one. Green flags out. Here we go. Cable's going for it already. Yeah, he is. He's letting it all hang out there. Working his way into the right hand there. Oh, got... Mishi into the tires. Yeah, it's... I've, I've seen this a lot on the first lap. A lot of drivers yeah. misjudge the right hander. They've been turning left all night and you get yeah. in there. That usually happens to me. <laughs> yeah, me too. The Cito Avon into the hay bales, bounced off and came back. He sprung up from the dead, looks like, and he's, he's still ahead of Rossini. Rossini definitely... Uh, had the worst first lap incident out of anybody, but uh, with how spread out they are now, it looks like intersection action already going to be starting here on lap number yeah. two. Oh, oh Kenny tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, straight. Oh, oh big. <laughs> there goes Kenny <laughs> Lover's socket yeah. to it as well. And, you know, that's part of figure eight racing, really. you got to anticipate the traffic coming the other way, and a lot of times it can really bite you. As, uh, now, keep Omen Rose leading. He's trying to double up on the night. Already won the uh, dirt modified feature. Yeah. He's actually doing pretty good. Zaria Falconer in second. Three wide battle behind her. Now Falconer's definitely one. She can make the outside groove work in these cars on pretty much any track we've seen her at. As she switches over to the inside, she's going to have to stand up on the brakes, and she didn't do it hard enough. Candy Tomorrow's going to get underneath her. Row up in this battle. Bill P., everybody's in this battle. This is going to be... like Lotus Setzer's up in the battle for second through fourth. We got, we got ourselves a regular dogfight here. They're all staying pretty close. And a two-by-two two across the intersection there. Avon collects another victim. That's Hemi Lover Sock in the intersection. It's, it's going to get pretty big here because yeah. uh, Avon's getting ready to go a lap down. And he's crossing Hemi Lover Sock. That means this pack's going to be doing that too. Yeah, Falk Rao, he's kind of working his way up there. He's in second place. So they're coming up on Avon here. Avon still just behind Hemi Lover Sock going the other way. Candy Tomorrow, your leader here on lap 7. Uh, then it is Rao, Setzer, Falconer, and Freshy. That's the, Surprisingly, uh, Luis, Lucito is <laughs> he's holding his own. <laughs> he's doing all right up there. And he's all the cross up. traffic. <laughs> oh, right as you said it too. Here he goes yeah. with the hate bills. Oh, just barely missed Falk Rao. That almost looked like a secondary intersection there. Yeah. Hemi Lever Sock's going to start getting into here, into the intersection. It's kind of on the off time. And Kibo Monroe now uh, also kind of involving himself there. And uh, one thing, you know, normally Candy Tomorrow, she'll get a pretty big lead in this series, and that gives her a lot of... Ooh. Oh, Falk Rao into Kibo Monroe. That costs them both quite a lot of time. Position for each driver, too, looks like. Oh, look who just made their way past her. Oh, and then I just had to jinx him. <laughs> he's freshy. <laughs> he's, he's lurking, though. We've got a big crash in the oh, intersection. we got a, two cars stuck together in the inter intersection. It's the Toast two-car tango, and it's also going to collect yeah. the six of Fock Rao. Those two, I swear they have magnets on their cars. Hemi Lover Sock mm -hmm. and uh, Lotus Setzer. When they get in the intersection anywhere near each other, magic happens. Yep. So 
So now they're they're working around Hemi Lover Sock. Uh, your leaders are other than Candy Tomorrow. Oh, her leader stuck to get. Oh, yeah, that was uh, Efred Kulov, and she got stuck to looks yeah. like Zarya Fokker takes the lead. Oh, Kibo Monroe almost took out Kaz Freshy, his former teammate there. And uh, now Freshy's current teammate working around that lap traffic as well. That's the six Rao. Another intersection collision. I, I saw Mishi Rossini look like uh, Bill P got caught up in that as well. Yeah, it looks like Fock Rao and Kibo Monroe are rubbing pretty good there. Now it looks like Hemi Lover Sock and Kibo Monroe are kind of fighting. I think those two are racing for position, too. I know uh, Rao is on the lead lap up ahead of him. You can see one thing is Fred Kulovan slows down for the intersection, as you see Lucido Avon does not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a marked difference there, and you can see uh, a lot of these drivers are really learning, hey, I can get through here if I just punch the brakes a little bit. Yeah. Or it's not it always... Wide. Yeah, that too. That's the other one. I was going to say, it's not always about braking. If, if you can get around them, and what you generally want to do uh, for drivers who are watching this or prospective drivers, you want to aim for the back of the car going the other way because by the time you get there, he'll be gone. Yeah. As you saw Freshy through the intersection, he did at that time. He kind of he moved over because he knew it was going to be clear by the time he got there. I mean, it's really not worth getting flipped, you know, <laughs> so you might as well just slow down a little bit. This is going to get big here. I'm watching uh, Falconer and Tomorrow. Uh, they're coming through the intersection equal with Mishi Rossini going the other way. Now, these are all pretty decently seasoned drivers. I know Rossini uh, last season was his rookie season, but he's learned quite a bit. So they should be able to all get through the intersection without messing anything up. This might be actually uh, pretty good to watch for drivers who are trying to learn how to handle themselves in the figure eight. As Hemi Lover Sock again collects the 92Y of Lotus Setzer teammates taking out each other yeah, I think th I think that's supposed to work a little differently than that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now it looks it's like a really tight battle for the lead yeah it's oh, kind here of whoever we go. times the intersection better sometimes oh, uh, Kenny oh. tomorrow smashed into I think that was Bill, Bill, Bill P, yeah that was a nasty wreck headed into the right-hander got five laps to go tomorrow went in way too uh, deep there I thought yeah. She, she didn't lose anything to the lap cars, but she really pinched it down there a lot farther than you actually want to. So that's going to leave us not too many laps here for her to... These last uh, few laps are going to be bad for the intersection. Oh, yeah. Because it, it looks like it's just those two up front. you got Kaz Freshy uh, back there in third. Whew. Yeah, it's gonna, this could shake out pretty exciting. Go in the other direction, you have Lotus Setzer, and she is angry right now. I don't know if you've yeah. seen how she's charging in the corners, but she is mad, it looks like, because she's just driving it in deep. So I'm not exactly looking for her to let up in the intersection. <laughs> oh, that was close. Kaz Freshy in clean air as well. We're going to have, I believe, two laps to go this time at the stripe. Sets her through the middle again, oh. and she collects tomorrow. Mm. That could actually open the door for Kaz Freshy. Two laps to go. Definitely. And it's like I was talking about, sets are driving angry right now, and she's not going to let up in the intersection. A lot of drivers lose focus when they get angry, and they'll just drive it in as hard as they can. That's, especially in figure eight racing, it's not the best strategy as the white flag comes out for Falconer. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be the same coming around the outside, <laughs> backside. And with, with the way the turns are shaped oh, here, oh, she, oh, Kenny tomorrow, Kenny. oh, Kaz Freshy passes for second. And Falconer barely makes it through. She takes Falconer the check. With the win. And wow, wow yeah, that last corner pass there for Freshy, he was able to get by Candy tomorrow, and she's been almost undefeatable in figure eight racing. So wow. there you have it. Sorry, Falconer uh, coming away with the win in true figure eight. Cas Freshy comes home second, 2.1 seconds down, and Candy tomorrow, last of the top three drivers. Fock Rao, Misha Rossini round out the top five, and cars on the lead lap. In six is Coolhoven, and Setzer, Monroe, Avon, Sock, and Pedalo. That's going to be it for figure eight, and that's going to be it for us tonight. Uh, we've got a long season ahead of us, though, quick. Yep. Well, we'll have a, we'll have a lot of fun. This is the, our first time, you know, announcing together, and well, for this season anyways. So we got a couple years of at least, I think. Yeah, it's been a couple years, I think. And so we got plenty of races ahead of us to 
have some more fun with. Got all these uh, all these races here: the Crew Figure Eights, uh, Dirt Modifieds, No Champs, Pure Stocks. And we're also going to be bringing you Wednesday action. The Country Stocks yeah. quicker going to be in cars, and uh, Doucha Fox Yell is going to be announcing those. So that that'll be fun. We will have a little competition going. Yep. Anyway, that's going to be it for us tonight here at Dirtfield Raceway. We'll be back at you next week, and we'll also be back at you Wednesday with Country Stock action. We're out of here.